Hi guys, we are into the third part of the, the third lesson, Roman Empire across the three continents. In the first part, we saw two important questions in which uh, we discussed about uh, the emperor, the senate and the army were the three important key players in the administration of the Roman Empire. Then we saw why this third century is, is the watershed movement in the history of Roman Empire. Yeah, third century crisis ke baare mein. Then we went on to see the third question about uh, uh, the uh, concept of gender in Roman Empire. The fourth question we saw was the cultural diversity in the Roman Empire. Now we are into the fifth question, the most important question that is how was the economy of the Roman Empire expanded? How was the economy of the Roman Empire expanded? Uh, based on that, it's a very much long answer. Okay, it's a long answer. See, the empire had a substantial economic infrastructure of harbors. You know what is harbor? Harbor is the place where uh, the uh, sheep, the boats come under. Uh, it's a, it's a, a place where all these things, you know, a sea route level, pe gather karte. We know harbors and substantial infrastructure in mines, mines, quarries, brickyards, making bricks, olive oil factories, etc. Okay, so that is uh, about the Roman Empire. Wheat, wine and olive oil were traded and consumed in, in huge quantities and they came mainly from Spain, Gallic provinces, North Africa, Egypt and to mainly, you know, and, um, and to a lesser extent even from Italy where the conditions were best suitable for these crops. So, which was very much uh, available in uh, uh, Roman Empire is the, uh, you know, uh, we this, these are the things which were traded and consumed okay they they had you know they they you know these areas were very famous for a particular thing that we are going to study you no know, wheat ke liye konsa area important hai wine ke liye konsa area bahut jyada famous hai uh, olive oil ke liye konsa hai to ye sab hum abhi is topic mein padhenge and these things were traded and consumed in large by the by the people in large quantities so, for this purpose, we had, you know, the Roman Empire had harbors, mines, quarries uh, and brickyards and olive oil factories and all that so that this, these things can be very easily traded among the people. So, this is the first point. Okay. And liquids like wine and olive oil, liquids like, liquids like olive, olive oil and wine were transported in containers called Amphorae, very very important. What is amphorae? Amph amphorae is a container, is a container in which the uh, liquids like wine and olive oil were transported. One marker is important. Hai. Otherwise, also this is the second point. The fragments and the shirts means the pieces of this large number of this uh, uh, amphorae survive, uh, survive even after so many years. Okay. Uh, Monte Testo, uh, Testacaccio in Rome is said to contain the remnants of almost 50 million vessels. Ye amphorae ka jo parts hai is area mein Monte Testacaccio is a place in Rome jahan pe abhi bhi uska parts remnants means parts the fragments wahan milte hain. Humko uh, wahan milte hain. And it has been possible for the archaeologists to reconstruct the the price the precise shapes of these containers archaeologists say fragments ko dekhe uska size kitna bada ho sakta hai and tell us that what they carried size dekhe hume pata chalta hai ki usme hum kya carry kar wo log kya carry karte the and exactly where they were made by examining the clay of the content clay by you know kaham banata banate the ye vessel ko wo us clay ko study karne se clay content ko and matching the finds with clay pits throughout the mediterranean so they are going to you know by this the archaeologists are studying Okay, they are able to exactly find out the shape of it. With the shape, they are able to find out what they carried in it. And we know exactly the, with the clay content, oh, ye bhi pata kar rahi, kahan pe ye jata tha. And with the you know, different uh, types of clays throughout the Mediterranean, they are studying this. This is all about the uh, amphorae, the third, second point. Okay, so amphorae, second point, mein ye kuch aapko ye sab explain karna pade. In this way, we can also say that some confidence in Spanish oil to take just for example was the vast commercial enterprise that reached a peak almost 42 uh, 140 to 160 ke beach mein. in this way we can say that uh, no spanish olive oil to take for example was the vast commercial enterprise so this is spanish olive oil was the very famous olive oil which had you know dominated the business for enterprise madala business for many years now the spanish olive oil of this period was mainly carried in a container named Dressel 20. 
ये आम्फर है ये एक्चुअली इट इस इट इस आम्फोरे इट इस इट इस पार्ट ऑफ़ दिस नो द आम्फोरे दैट बी स्टडीड बट इट्स नेम इस ड्रेसल 20 इन विच स्पैनिश ओली ऑयल ओके वेरी फेमस ओली ऑयल स्पैनिश ओली ऑयल वाज कैरी आफ्टर आर्कियोलॉजिस वो फर्स्ट एस्टैब्लिश इस फॉर्म तो ये ये ड्रेसल इस ए पर्सन is an archaeologist who established so this is named after this container is named after an archaeologist called a dressel okay if finds of dressel 20 were widely scattered across the sites of the mediterranean this suggests that spanish olive oil circulated very widely indeed so that is very that is a obvious fact when this spanish olive oil container either other aapko uh, uh, circulate matlab uh, uh, पाए जाते हैं then you are able to understand that you know this was very much uh, circulated among the people now by using such evidence, the remains of the amphorae of the different kinds and their distribution maps, archaeologists are able to show the Spanish producers succeeded in capturing markers for olive oil from their Italian counterparts. That, so that it means it shows that archaeologists, archaeologists are of the fact that uh, the Spanish business people are able to able to convince the market of the uh, uh, Italian counterparts. Uh, you know, they are able to take over the business from the Italian people. So, Italian olive oil is the best olive oil, Spanish olive oil. How do you know? Because the containers are well spread among the Mediterranean areas. That is why uh, there is the competition between the Spanish olive oil and Italian olive oil. Ke beech mein, kon, kon sa olive oil best nikla? Spanish olive oil. This would, this would only have happened if Spanish producers supplied a better quality at a lower price. Very, very important. Agar ya Spanish producers, Italian producers say tough competition de pae, is liye de pae, kyunki wo best quality lesser price me de te te. Very, very important. Okay. In, in another words, in other words, the big landowners from different uh, uh, no, regions competed with each other for the control of the main market for the goods that they produced. Always there was a competition to control the who would control the market. So, uh, so far what we have dis discussed. You now, first point we discussed about uh, different uh, uh, you know, places for different uh, uh, products. Okay, and uh, you know, and we also saw about the liquid like wine and olive oil transported in, in a container called Amphore. And uh, no, uh, uh, with the shape, we are able to find out, uh, you know, uh, how it is, uh, what things it carried, and uh, where it is produced with the help of the clay content, and you know where all it spread. And best example, best olive oil is Spanish olive oil, and it was transported in a container called Dressel 20. It is named after an archaeologist called Dressel. And if this is found widely across the Mediterranean, this suggests that uh, Spanish olive oil circulated very, very widely, and Spanish. Olive oil producers were able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, capture the markets for olive oil from their Italian counterparts. This happened because the Spanish producers supplied the best, better quality, the better quality olive oil at the lower price. And it is obvious fact that landowners always had a competition to occupy more and more markets for the products that they produced. That's all we discussed. Now, the success of the Spanish olive oil was taken over by the North African producers, olive oil estates. Then it was taken over by later, it was North African dominance was broken by the East people. Then later in 5th and 6th century, the Asian, South Asia minor Turkey people, then Syria, Palestine. So, olive oil business, people uh, time pe market ko control the market. I don't think so. You need to learn all this who took over first and who took over later on. So, uh, last point was that there is a competition for the control of the main markets for the goods that they produce. That's enough. So, you need to read. That paragraph. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the next point is that uh, you know, uh, yes. The empire included many regions that had a reputation for exceptional fertility, like Campania in Italy, Sicily, the uh, Fayum in Egypt, Galilee, Byzantium in Tunisia, Southern Gaul, that is Gallia, Narbon, uh, Nar uh, Narbonsis, then uh, Biatica, Southern Spain, were all among the most densely settled, uh, uh, wealthiest uh, uh, populations in the empire. According to the writers like uh, but these are the people, okay, the you know, regions included in the Roman Empire. Yes, about the first map, we have seen that map is mentioned. That's why you take this area and keep, you know, uh, look at that map. 
and match whether where where is gold found where is uh, a biotic biotica found where is galilee found no where is uh, uh, no uh, another very italy sicily and fayum in egypt is a various no kahan pe map mein thoda dhyan dena focus karna theek hai now according to the writers like uh, uh, thrapo strabo and philini these are the two right according to them these are the areas this areas are very wealthy people their areas are very very wealthy people this bits best kinds of wine came from a place called campania please underline this very important the best wine we have studied about spanish olive oil now wine the best wine came from campania sicily and uh, no not sicily sicily and uh, by uh, uh, byzantium okay byzantium exported large quantities of wheat to rome very important wheat kahan se aata tha roman empire ke liye from sicily and byzantium Galilee was densely circulated every inch of the soil has been cultivated by the environment by wrote by the historian Paul Joseph and Spanish olive oil came mainly from the uh, uh, numerous estates of Fundi along the banks of the river called Gaudal Gaudal Guer is the name of the river so what does it mean meaning is this that you know Spanish olive oil came from the mainly the area estates called Fundi you know numerous estates numerous estates are called as a, uh, there is a term for this estates called fundi and where it is located along the banks of the river guadal guadal quir where is this river guadal quir in the southern spain if you go back to the go back to the map you will come to know where is this uh, uh, guadal quir is located you should know this map yes if you see this area biatica you know uh, biatica is the area there you have a river called guadal quir and you, this this is a gaul and this is you know the area tunisia is here then uh, you have uh, you know the fayum is here you see uh, please go through the map again and again this map is very very important okay uh, so uh, the areas that we discussed all are here okay so biotica is here and there this is the area spanish olive oil very you know uh, large quantity of spanish olive oil being produced fine so we are into this uh, uh, no economic ex expansion we are talking about wine coming from campania then we are talking about wheat coming from uh, uh, no uh, sicily and uh, uh, yes uh, sicily and uh, byzantium uh, wheat and uh, we also studying that you know galilee was densely cultivated for every inch is uh, you know every inch of the soil has been cultivated by the inhabitants the who is telling this it is uh, told by a historian called josephus and spanish olive oil okay galilee is densely cultivated what is cultivated is not very clearly mentioned but cultivation is very largely done by the people the historian josephus is telling us and spanish olive oil is mainly coming from the area numerous estates called fundi the estates are called fundi from there this spanish olive oil being cultivated on the banks of the river called guadalquivir which is located in the southern spain southern spain okay so uh, that is uh, no an another two points here so uh, where from where all it becomes very important from best wine campania wahan se leke ye pura paragraph uh, half of the paragraphs are very important okay then on the other hand large expanses of the roman territory were in a uh, this yes in a uh, much less advanced state why because there was a, a, a development jyada nahi hota tha kuch areas mein kyunki which uh, this this some areas were wide, widespread by the population of uh, trans humans who are these trans humans is the herdsman's regular annual movement between the higher mountain and lower mountains area so there are uh, there are group of people taking their animals going always in search of new pastoral lands so uh, there is a group of uh, people who are uh, who are pastoralists and they don't contribute much to the you know economy of the country economy of the empire so uh, mainly in a place called numidia in Al algeria these pastoral and semi nomadic communities were of were often on the move carrying their own oven shaped herds and the oven shaped herd, uh, herds are called as mapalia with them okay these people used to carry their own herds you know wherever they do put their tent jahan pe tent laga ke wo tent ko kehte hain mapalia and roman estates expanded in north africa also we know the pastures of these communities were uh, drastically reduced and their movements were tightly regulated because these people used to raid over any any community settled community isliye inke upar hamesha check rakhte the we have studied this in the last lesson also uh, mari usme humne dekha tha 
even when spain north much even even in spain the north was very much less developed because a celtic speaking peasantry lived in the hill top villages called the castella very very important see uh, one side we have uh, we have talked about all development in this paragraph we are talking about not no, less developed areas less developed areas are like uh, nimedia in algeria and where this community uh, no this uh, pastoral community living always on the move and they carry their own uh, uh, huts called mapili mapalia and even we have and they, their movements are very much regulated we have another group of people even in north of spain south of spain we have uh, well developed people who are cultivating spanish olive oil but here we have north side we have less developed areas where the peasantry farmers they are celtic speaking people language celtic baat celtic mein baat karte hain and they are farmers and they live in the hill top villages hill top mein kitna zyada ye log agriculture kar lenge bahut kam hi kar payenge and there is for their livelihood purpose should be a subsistence agriculture not a no like a commercial agriculture to nahi kar sakte and it's a subsistence agriculture since it is a subsistence agriculture they are less developed people and they live in small hill top villages called castella very very important the term castella fundi and mapalia the terms are very very important my dear so you have to learn these terms you will understand the importance of all these terms once the exam takes place so when we think of the roman empire we should never forget these differences also there were people who are less developed as also living in the roman empire so we have seen in the economic expansion in short note if i if i revise the whole thing what we discussed now it's all about uh, you know what we discussed is uh, different different products in from different areas coming from and one best uh, this on wine wine and uh, the liquids are transported in a in a container called amphorae and uh, by this by the shape of this we can tell you know what it carried and uh, by you know by the clay content we can tell you know uh, uh, where it was where it was produced and uh, you know it was well spread out in mediterranean area and spanish olive oil you know uh, during this 140 to 60 years was area me 140 60 years it was it was a commercial business for all the people in uh, uh, roman empire Sp spanish olive oil was the best thing and carried in a container called dressel 20 and this name named after a person archaeologist who first established this kind of form that uh, uh, container form and द ड्रेसल ट्वेंटी का जो पीसेस है वो ऑल ओवर द मेडिट्रेन इधर उधर पाए जाते हैं इट मीन्स इट मीन्स दैट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस स्पेनिश ओलि ऑयल वॉज मच मच मोर एंड इट कैप्चर्ड मोर मार्केट दैन द इटालियन काउंटर पार्ट एंड इट हैपन बिकॉज द स्पेनिश प्रोड्यूस वर एबल टू सप्लाई बेटर क्वालिटी एट अ लोअर प्राइस एंड एनी एनी लैंड ओनर एनी प्रोड्यूसर वॉज कॉम्पिटिंग विद ईच अदर जस्ट टू हैव कंट्रोल ऑफ द मेन मार्केट फॉर द गुड्स दैट दे प्रोड्यूस्ड ओके देन we went on to discuss or discuss about you know the olive oil market from went on from different region to different region like first uh, sp sp spain people then north africans then it went on to east to eastern people then it went to the turkey to palestine then syria all everybody started producing sp olive oil okay everybody started producing olive oil that is okay then in this paragraph we discussed about uh, you know the best kinds of wine came from campania and sicilia and byzantium known for wheat and galilee very densely uh, cultivated area uh, told by a historian called josephus and spanish olive oil mainly in the southern area uh, in a numerous estates called fundi along the river banks of the river called guadal guadal quir and we also discussed about uh, some less developed areas in the roman empire like we have uh, uh, no area uh, nimedia in north, uh, in uh, algeria where uh, transhumans the pastoral community living always on the move carrying their own huts woven shaped huts called mapalia and these people are there's movement are always uh, you know regulated aur unka community ka members ko ye log kya community members ko kam karte gaye kyunki jitna kam hai utna hi acha hai karke ye uh, emperors unke upar zyada bahut strict stringent rules lagu karte the then we have another very important community a less developed community it's a farming com community not pastoral community peasantry meaning farming community celtic speaking community living in the hill top villages of uh, north spain and that hill top villages are called as casella so it it is both developed as well as less developed uh, people and regions uh, all together called as a roman empire this is how the economy of the roman empire developed this last paragraph we are Uh, skipping it not so important 
so with this uh, we have completed another very important question that is how was the economy of the roman empire expanded during the the whole uh, uh, rule so uh, i think uh, that's enough for uh, this session uh, we have discussed very important question so uh, till i see you in the next session all of you please take care bye bye